Why was the maths book so unhappy? Because it was filled with problems. Welcome to problem solving. We're going to look at drawing a diagram. So I hope you've got your pencil out, your pen out. You're going to draw with your pencil. So with this strategy, drawing a diagram, what does it mean? So drawing a diagram is built by reading the problem and drawing as you go. So you've got to be careful not to take any shortcuts which can lead to mistakes. Thus, it is important that we match our drawing with the facts which are presented. Be very careful. Many of my students are trying to cut corners and by cutting corners they get the wrong answer. And by drawing, we can visually see the solution as we draw it. So here's the problem. We always start by reading and we read carefully. Farmer Joe has a hobby farm. He currently owns a square paddock of an area of one hectare. There is 400 metres of fence around his paddock. Farmer Joe has decided to extend to a bigger square paddock. This new square paddock has a fence of 1,200 metres. What is Farmer Joe's new area for this paddock? So the second thing is we're going to write down what do we know. So from what we've read we know that he started with a square paddock and it has 400 metres of fence. And the area that that represents is one hectare. So let's just draw a square, put a fence around it, call it one hectare. So I've drawn that in my book with my pencil. And I know a fence goes around the perimeter, so I know with the square each side is exactly the same. So each side will be 100 because 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 will equal the 400 metres. There's my square. So what do I want to find out? So I've, I've drawn the original um, paddock, but I want to find out the area in size if the paddock has a fence of 1,200 metres. So the method is to draw. So what I'm going to do is draw the first one. So the, the first one's only got 400 metres around the prim perimeter, the fence, and it represents one hectare. So remember, I've got to make a square. Okay, so I, I create four squares and then count how many um, how many sections of fence I have. So 100 plus 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 100. Plus 100, plus 100, plus 100 so there's, what's that, 800, 8 times 100. It's too small, so I'm going to have to try again. So I'm extending my square. So you can see it's in a square, and this time I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 times 100 equals my 1,200. So that's the fence. Now, in the middle, just by looking at my diagram, I can see that I've got how many hectares? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 9 times 1 hectare, which my answer, 1,200 metres of fence, provides an area of nine hectares. That's my answer. So remember, when drawing, make sure you draw accurately. Otherwise, if you try and cut corners, you're going to make a mistake. So start by building what you know from the beginning. Good luck.